What's up everybody, it's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are going to talk about this disaster known as the Biden administration. I apologize for not uploading a lot lately. I've been out of town. I've been in Las Vegas for a big Friday Night Tights Geeks and Gamers Nerdrotic meetup. It was fantastic. We got to meet with so many of our supporters and we had a great time hanging out with them, hung out with the Geeks and Gamers team. It was a wonderful, wonderful experience and we're planning the next one. So thank you to everybody that supported that. While I was in Vegas, all of this stuff starts to break about Afghanistan and the Biden administration. And it is a complete and total embarrassment in every single way possible. Every single way possible. Not only is it an embarrassment, it's downright terrifying. And the fact that we have so many people out there that are more worried about mean tweets, which is why I have this up. These people are more worried about mean tweets than they are what Joe Biden and this administration is doing. And I was talking to my bro, Gary from Nerdrotic earlier. We were talking, we were talking about all of this, and he brought up a point that I have been thinking about for a while now. Why the hell is Kamala Harris the vice president? Why was she ever picked to be the vice president? As bad as Joe Biden is, as unqualified as Joe Biden is to lead this country, to lead anything, as bad as he is, Kamala Harris is even worse the reason she's vice president is because she is so unlikable and so unelectable that they know they had to put her there because if you put a qualified person there, they were going to take over within the first year. Biden is stuck in that position. He is not fit to lead, but he's going to be there. They're not going to give it to Kamala. She's awful. Or at least they're going to hold off as long as they can. But even as bad as it's been. The fact that we are this far into his presidency, within what, less than a year into his presidency, and we are already seeing how bad it's become? This is awful. This is absolutely ridiculous. But again, we live in a world where people are more worried about mean tweets than some of the things that we have seen from Afghanistan. It is absolutely ridiculous. Now, number one, we shouldn't be uh, worried about Afghanistan. That place is never going to be fixed. You're never going to fix it. But what Joe Biden has done and the way he has done it and the, the aftermath of all of this, if you are not outraged by this but you're worried about mean tweets, then you can go fuck yourself. I mean, absolutely fuck yourself over and over again. My God. Like, it's time to stop pretending that if you're offended by mean tweets but you're okay with this, it's time to stop pretending that you are a logical thinking human being because you're not. Think about the position that this country would be in if Donald Trump was still the commander-in-chief versus where we are now. And where we are now is absolutely embarrassing and terrifying. My goodness. Jack Posobiec has been tweeting out, Biden, not sleeping well, says he wants to go home to Delaware to sleep. This is the man that's supposedly leading our country. We know he's not. We know he's not. Man has no idea what he's doing. He has no idea what he's doing. Biden telling staff he wants to go back to Delaware, hasn't been sleeping well this week, thinks he will be more functional if he stays over at home in Wilmington. I mean, it's just, it's just truly embarrassing. It's just embarrassing. Now, here you have uh, the 45th president of the United States of America, Donald Trump, the greatest president of my lifetime. By the way, I stayed at Trump International in Las Vegas, and it was incredible. I have a signed Make America Great Again hat from the 45th president of the United States of America. Um, I wish I had it on me right now. I did a video where I showed it, but John Bartolo and the John Bartolo Show gifted me that hat. Um, absolutely fantastic. I will have it set up on one of my shelves back here where we can always see it when I'm making my videos. But uh, right here you said it, it, Donald Trump says it. First you bring out all of the American citizens. Then you bring out all equipment. Then you bomb the bases into smithereens, and then you bring out the military. You don't do it in reverse order like Biden or our woke generals did. No chaos, no death. They wouldn't even know we left. But do you know what we ended up with? We ended up with this nut job right here. 
when you look at what's happened over the last week, was it a failure of intelligence, planning, execution, or judgment? Look, I don't think it was a failure. Look, it was a simple choice, George. When the, when the Taliban, uh, let me back it up. Put it in. He's, all, he's already tripping over his words. Like the man can't even form a sentence without being confused. How pathetic is this? Another way. When you had the government of Afghanistan, the leader of that government getting in a plane and taking off and going to another country, when you saw the significant collapse of the, of the uh, Afghan troops we had trained, over, up to 300,000 of them, just leaving their equipment and, and, and taking off, that was, you know, I'm not, this is, is that, that's what happened. That's dead, but, what happened. But, 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 but we've all seen the pictures. We've seen those hundreds of people packed into a C-17. We've seen Afghans falling. That was four days ago, five days ago. What did you think when you first saw those pictures? What I thought was we're, we have to. The fact that this man, the fact that this man said that in response that was four days ago, five days ago. First of all, at the time, I think it was two days ago when this interview happened. But Afghanistan's a terrible place. We know this, okay? Those people, those people were so desperate for the freedom that we have in America that they were willing to put themselves in that position. Yet we live in a country where people are offended over fucking pronouns over being misgendered, over being fake victims. And then you see those images right there. That's how much freedom meant to those people. And it was disturbing. I mean, it's absolutely awful to see those bodies flying off that plane. It, it was truly horrific. And this man's response was so tone deaf. He has no idea what's going on. He has no idea. It's disgusting. But hey, no mean tweets, right? No more mean tweets. I, I, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm astonished. Um, I, I'm truly astonished at, at what we're witnessing. You know, um, I said this right here. You know, I, I knew Biden would be a failure. I knew it would be very bad. But even I'm surprised just how bad things are. And it's only getting going to get worse. It's embarrassing and scary. I've never been more proud of my support for the great President Trump. And that is accurate. Um, it is absolutely, it's hard to comprehend how bad things are. It's hard to comprehend that it's only going to get worse. But it will. It's not going to get better. This man is not well. And the person that is next in line is even worse. And that, that's not a compliment to Joe Biden. That just shows you how bad Kamala Harris is. And that's the reason that she's the VP, because they needed the least qualified person to be there. Because there's, unless it's just to the point where they can't even weekend at Bernie's Joe Biden anymore, they're not going to just move him aside for Kamala, because she's that bad. She is truly a horrific candidate of the highest order. The most unqualified candidate I have ever seen. And it's not even close. There's a reason she's in this position. And it's because as long as she is in that position, that's going to give Biden the best chance to remain in office. What a disaster. What an embarrassing disaster. It's time to stop pretending that the people that are offended over mean tweets yet support what is going on. It's time to start stop pretending that those people actually know what's going on. These people are, are clearly lost. The, their TDS has, has taken them so far off uh, in, in such a planet that like, we don't even understand where they are at this point because... I, I just question your sanity at this point if mean tweets were so bad that you're willing to deal with this. People like Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill is a certified lunatic right now, and he has been for a long time. That man is not well either. It's truly, truly terrifying. But I will continue to be vocal about my support for the great President Trump, 
I will be supporting him in 2024. I will also be supporting my great governor, Ron DeSantis, here in Florida, and, and any other patriots out there that are willing to stand up against this absolute insanity. Uh, if you guys enjoy this video, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, comment below. Tell me what else you want me to cover. We're back from Vegas. Uh, uploaded to Geeks and Gamers. Uploading to here. And uh, I appreciate all of your support. You guys have a good one. Uh, support President Trump. Support Ron DeSantis. Support real patriots out there like those two great men. You guys have a good one, and we will talk to you later.